All right, folks, Pitching Games 88, we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We're in far future, heading on to day 13. Great. Helmet zombies. These guys, not fun. They hit up, they get to one of your plants, they'll basically knock your plants back two tile spaces, uh, getting rid of the ones in the back two rows. Really, really frustrating to take them out. Again, at this point forward, a cherry bomb, if you can afford it in your arsenal, definitely choose it. Um, again, you have three plant foods in the front. Sounds like an absolutely fantastic way to do twin sunflowers. However, it is four places in the front. So it's basically four columns forward. Uh, not somewhere where you really want to place your twin sunflowers. Uh, you can put your twin sunflowers in the very back row and do basically just as well. Uh, which is actually what we're going to be doing because you put twin sunflower on them gives you about 500 600 uh, Again, definitely don't put the twin sunflowers in the green put them in the green It's just you're, it's just wait waiting for disaster. You're basically flirting with disaster a little bit um, just due to the fact that the zombies are going to get to you really really quickly and you're going to need to have quite a bit of space to plant everything now, the one great thing about the X power tiles, the green ones, is that you can put a bonk choy. And so that means that when you get so many of these zombies coming out at you, you can put a plant food on one, basically get rid of the whole row that's that's attacking your your tall nuts. Now again, plant the, that potato mine to take out the bucket head. Bucket head is gonna be a huge problem for you. You definitely wanna take them out. I uh, had an extra iceberg lettuce. Might as well take that guy out to help us out. Now that top row, important. Going to give you a plant food. Very important. Great thing. Tall nut was going to come up just in time. I knew that. Now I put, put a potato mine in that middle row. Just take out the bucket head. I knew the bucket head was going to be very problematic for us. And I also knew that we were able gonna we were going to be able to take out... That zombie in the second from the top row, you know, the the, the uh, walker, zombie walker, the future walker, whatever you want to call that guy. He's basically going to be easily able to take him out as well as freeze him. You freeze him, I mean, you're doing wonders for yourself. You're going to be able to take him out. And that bottom row, again, you slowed that one guy down, slowed the rocket head guy, take him out really much, really quickly, I should say. And again, that helmet guy you want to take him out definitely so it's very important that you you know are doing damage to him you're putting you know winter melons taking them out doing what you can again it took really easy to take him out after you use the cherry bombs so definitely try and save the cherry bombs for those guys if you can you don't have any gargantuans on this level so your main thing that you're gonna have to deal with is really the uh, the football head zombies because at this point the space walkers not even really an issue because uh, they will stop eventually and you're gonna have so much um, you know winter melons doing damage to these guys that you really aren't gonna have too much of an issue now due to the damage of having two of them really close in the middle lane I did, did decide to take them out also put the winter melons in those red ones Especially for that the helmet guy. Definitely want to take him out. Definitely want to do damage to him. We're basically doing two winter melons of damage as well as splash damage, which is fantastic. Uh, basically, almost four melons doing damage. Also, put a potato mine there as well as a cherry bomb to take him out. Use a little bit of plant food to take these guys out really quickly. Also, knew that we were going to get a plant food back. So, not really that big of a deal to take these guys out. Um, you have a plant food, might as well use it on the winter melons. Not only slow these guys down a little bit more, but also to do damage. Uh, the cherry bomb should be able to take out the football head guys pretty darn quickly. Or you could just allow the winter melons to take them out. Either way, it's just fun to see them crash and burn. But this has been. Day 13. I'll see you guys all later. It's been Pitching Games 88. Over and out.